We are honored to have former First Lady Michelle Obama with us this morning and someone who knows her best, her big brother Craig. <laughs> Y'all ready? Ready. Oh, I'm ready. You re are, are you I'm ready? ready? I'm ready. Are, are you ready? Yeah. Now, you've heard this great reaction about your, this book that your sister has written. What does it mean for you? Well, wow. First of all, it's, it's still very hard for me to hear people say Mrs. Obama. Mm. But, still? Yeah, still. <laughs> after all these years. But, I, you know, I couldn't be more proud of my sister and, and this book becoming. And uh, I'm just really excited to see everybody's reaction to all the wonderful stories that are, that are in the book. And a lot of those stories, as you know, resonating with people, have heard from so many people, especially, Michelle, when you were talking about the miscarriage, yeah, uh, IVF, to mm -hmm. have your two mm -hmm. beautiful daughters. In fact, there's one who wrote in, her name is, um, she said that, um, wow, I salute you, Michelle. This is Alyssa. Mm -hmm. I salute you, Michelle, for being so open and honest after going through this myself. It's heartwarming mm -hmm. to hear. So what's your message for those who are, are struggling out there with the, these issues right now? You know, you're not alone. I mean, miscarriages are more common than we know. Um, and infertility is a common problem. But that's the thing, we as women, we talked about this uh, the other day, we just don't talk about these issues. So we deal with this stuff in isolation and that doesn't help. So if folks like me coming out and talking about my experiences helps give some comfort and some courage to others to come out, then uh, I, 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 I'm, I'm happy to share my story if it helps. And I know that your family was there to help you. In fact, you wrote about uh, you had two children at the time and mm -hmm. so she would come over, your sister would come over and, and would have How some comfort there. My, my baby fix from, from uh... Yeah, no, <laughs> she would come over and be that aunt who just messed everything up when you had, <laughs> you had your schedule and she'd come over and keep them up late and let them walk on the furniture. But she was a, she, <laughs> she was a good auntie. She was yeah. a good auntie. What kind of mom is she? Well, you know, it's funny you should say that, Robin, because of all the things that I'm most proud of, and you know, my sister's done a, a whole lot of things, a lot of initiatives, but the biggest thing... <laughs> the, the, one of the, well, the biggest things that was, was apparent to, to our family was how she made family imperative within our own sort of family so that uh, e even though she was busy doing all these wonderful things. Mm -hmm. We had Thanksgiving at the White House, we'd have Fourth of July at the White House, and, and our entire family felt a part of being uh, in such a historical environment. It's just, it's great. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. 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 I love having him forced to say nice things about me. I'm like, go I on. Know, I know, I know. <laughs> You were looking at it like I always say what, nice. What would you guys like it? like kids? What were you all? Did, oh, did you... I adored my brother. I mean, Craig I was I have been Craig Robinson's little sister for mm. most of my life. And, and I then could, this happened. I right. <laughs> And I could have an attitude about it, but right. I am a fan too. I mean, you know, here's the thing that I will tell men out there, you know, is having, a, a, for a girl to have strong men in her life, you know, like I had a father who loved me, a brother who adored me and cared, adored me and cared for me, made me stronger. Um, so I want to make sure that men understand the importance of male role models in the life of a strong girl. And my brother has been my hero from day one. Um, you know, he's like the enforcer in the family. If bad news has to be delivered, like somebody's asking for a little bit too much, it's like, Craig, you got to call. <laughs> You know, you gotta go talk to, you know. Did he also have to talk to your mother into moving into the White House oh, with y'all? Oh, yes. Oh, geez. Yeah, I called him oh, first. What? I was like, Craig, come on, mom has gotta go. What did you say? Because first of all, he is the favorite, right? So now, like, I am the first lady, but my, my, my mother's like, when's Craig coming? And I'm like, I live in the White House. What more do I have to, to do? do? So I was like, you can talk her into doing anything. But she I, didn't I am the favorite. I am the favorite. <laughs> but how did you talk her into to moving? So I, I just said to her, because my, my mom, and Robin, you know my mom, mm -hmm. she is 
was not, she is not the sort of intrusive in-law. So she didn't, she would never want to stay, even stay over and babysit our kids mm -hmm. before She'd they moved. To, right. She'd go home. It'd be two in the morning. Mom, stay over. Nah, she's going home. <laughs> so she really didn't want to join them in the White House for that reason. And I just sort of positioned it like, um, you, you will be helping your granddaughters out, number one. And uh, if you move into the White House, then I'll come to visit you more. See. And so then, <laughs> oh, those two like, things. You just made that. <laughs> made it about yourself, it just like that. Just like that. No, <laughs> it's, no. you know, it, but, but to my mom's credit, she mm -hmm. saw the bigger picture. And, um, you know, yeah, it, 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 it is just wonderful to have that kind of mm -hmm. support yeah. for them, mm -hmm. given all the stuff that right. they were going and through. And how are the girls today? They're great. They're great. They are. They are thriving. I, let me just say this out loud in public. I'm so proud of those little girls. Um, they. Uh, they have managed this situation with poise and grace, and they are normal and kind and smart and friendly and open. Gosh, and it could have gone so wrong. But <laughs> I will also say that they had support from a lot of the other former first kids, Jenna and Barbara and Chelsea. I love those girls. I will love them forever for what <laughs> kind of support they provided to my daughters throughout yeah. that. They, were all, they always had their back. Somebody went after them in the press. Jenna would get in there and say something. Chelsea would send a tweet out, mm -hmm. you know, and that made a, yeah. <laughs> that made a big, big difference. So yeah. they're doing well. I'm glad to hear yeah. that. And Mama? Your mom's doing well? Oh, she's good. She, yeah, she's roaming around here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> you know, mom is still like, I don't want to be bothered with any of it. I mean, I the, my mother is, st she is a South Side mother, you know, who really thinks like, why do I want to be bothered? So we talk about this for every major trip we would go on. We traveled around the world, you know, but like, mom, you want to go to China with us? Why would I want to go to China? <laughs> It's like, well, because it's, it'll be interesting. And then somebody else would have to talk to her. Craig would have to call, Mom, you should go to China. And then she'd be like, oh. OK, I'll go to China. And then she'd be in China, and she's like, China's great. I'm having such a great time. But you have to push this. This is these black mothers on the south side. You got to push them to try some new stuff. She's still, I'm still doing that with her. You know, for, for, for eight years, it was Mrs. Obama. Michelle's back. Michelle, yes. it seems like, it's, what has she? Post White House, how is she different? How has it she been? She is much more chill. <laughs> really? Yes, because you know, you know, my sister has had to be. Now she's always very frank and mm. and forthright. But you know, when you're in the White House, you have to have a, you have to watch your words. We we talk about all the time that <laughs> words mean a lot, and and we were raised that words mean a lot. Don't tempt me, I'll laugh. Don't, don't tempt me. Do not start. No. <laughs> but, you know, she's, she's just been a lot more relaxed, and it's, it's not that it's more fun to be around her now. It was always fun. Right, right. Uh, it's just, I, you can see in her face and in her movements that things are kind of yeah. relaxing, yeah. And, uh, and I'm sure her daughters feel the same way. I'm sure they do. <laughs> well, the book is called Becoming, and there's some great photos in there. So we're going to show you some photos. Okay. And because that helped you become the woman you are today. And I want you to say the first word that comes to mind okay. when you see these photos. Put up the first one right here. As a little girl. Oh, deuce and a quarter. <laughs> <laughs> That's the back of the deuce and the quarter. Explain right to there. people who don't know what the deuce and the quarter yeah, is. Yeah, that's the Buick Electra 225, to be precise. Yeah, that was my dad's oh. pride and joy. And then he upgraded that. Oh, it was supposed to be one word. Okay, that's I'm okay. Sorry. That's okay. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, they, he upgraded they, this it. This is to what the, happens le leaving the White House. <laughs> He upgraded it to the maroon deuce and a quarter, which is the car we both learned to drive on. So we basically right. learned to drive that big yeah. old car. So. You know, we haven't talked about your father. Yeah. We, we've talked about your mother and the health issues that he went through, and he was still so strong yeah. and, 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 and laying a, a foundation for, mm -hmm. for both of you all. Yeah, yeah. My, my dad, he's our rock. Um, and I think so much of who Craig and I are is because we always wanted to make our parents proud. I mean, to you know, grow up with a dad with a disability who 
never complained, you know, uh, went to work every day, you know, N didn't miss a, a day of work, never, I never remember dad being sick or talking about being sick. Um, you know, when you grow up with that kind of, uh, you know, drive and that kind of, with those values, you know, we just never wanted to disappoint him. Mm. So, oh. <laughs> let me, and I'm so glad because as you said, they, they both had such a, an influence in your, in your upbringing. Fred, Frederica had a, had a question, I'm gonna read it for you. She said, you've accomplished so much in your life. Some people wanna skydive or swim with sharks. What's left in your list that you still wanna do, Mrs. Obama? Oh, there's still a lot of travel. Like, like we've been around the world and have seen like the backs of hotels and elevators. I wanna go back to those places and like walk in the front door, <laughs> spend some time, see a site without security. So there's a whole travel bucket list of places that I wanna go to and go back to. You've got time. Got some time. time. Got to do it young. Well, I don't know because this book tour, I know you're gonna be at the United Center. But we're not gonna tour the book forever. No, 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 no. <laughs> but, but, but I, you know, when we had the special that was so well received and people were really touched by your reaction to Princeton students, yeah. young women who were there on campus now and the example that you set for them. In fact, there's one woman that caught your eye in particular. Let's look at this, this tape, Belinda, there on the campus. Thank you, yeah, just Princeton. from the bottom of my heart, I can't thank you enough. And I hope to one day be able to convey that in person, but thank you. Oh my Have goodness. Have you ever seen her in person? No. Is she here? I'm sorry. Why'd you do that? No, no. I did, we did feel bad at that point. She thought, she thought it was like one of those like TV shows. It's like the and it's like she's going to come out. Oh, here she is. Here she is. <laughs> well, here she is right now. Belinda, come on up. Oh my God, what year oh, are you? I'm a senior. Let's see, you're, you're almost out of here, I huh? Almost done. Yes. Your thesis? You... Thesis underway. Yeah. Job it, secured, it, everything. Go, wow. girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is an honor to be able to meet you. Four years ago when I was a high school senior, I considered Princeton because my mom said she wanted Princeton, and that changed my life. Wow. And even through all the difficulties and triumphs, like being a first-generation college student, yeah. knowing that you did it, helped me and so many other black women, other students at Princeton, like, persevere. So thank you from oh my the gosh. bottom of my heart. It, it, it just did that. Just did that. My goodness, thank you so oh, much. My I'm very proud of you. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Brenda. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Oh, oh and uh, and by the way, um, every student that was shown that video will be seeing you on tour. So not just going to be Belinda. Everybody that saw you in that video is going to be seeing. What are you oh most proud God. of that you accomplished in the White House? Being an inspiration to younger people. I mean, I, I feel like that's our, our main responsibility as adults is to be role models to the young people to follow. And, you know, for all the kids who felt some kind of inspiration and ability to do just a little bit more than they thought they could because of something that me or Barack or my brother or you have done, that's, that's what more could we ask for, right? So. Well, thank you. Thank you, Belinda. Coming is out now. Oh, yeah. The book is out now. Yeah. Go to the bookstore. All right, thank you for sharing the time. Go, go. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.